In this video, we're upgrading the Shopify blog pages because the blog options in Shopify just are pretty basic. Shopify is really great for e-commerce though, but I often wish they had some better blog features. So as usual, we've made these customizations and we're gonna share it with you all. We've got two great new features to add. The first one in this video is we're going to add tags as badges. So you'll see those on the blog cards or on the article pages. The second one is we're gonna add sidebars to help with some basic navigation through your blog post or in the article itself. If you're interested in the sidebar, check it out after you finish watching this video. Link is in the description. So why do I want some better blog features? If you followed one of our customizations before, you may have noticed that we use Notion to host all of our instructions and code. Well, we're now going to host this on our very own website. And since we're all about Shopify customizations, I wanted to do it on Shopify as well. And so the customizations in this very video were used to help create the blogs on our own website. Check it out if you want, theprompted.co. We'll be slowly building it out over the coming weeks and months, and we're planning to add some more stuff to help you with your stores. Let me know with what you're struggling with most, and we'll see if we can come up with some solutions for that. All right, let's look at the customization for this video and add some tags to our blogs. Okay, so we're gonna start off on our demo store. Here, we're on the blog page for our demo store. And you can see here, we've got these different cards here for different blog posts. So we've got these four test blog posts. And you can see here that there's some badges and these badges are all the different tags that are on the article. If you click in, we can also see that we've added these badges um, in the article itself. And in a nutshell, that's what you're gonna see, but we've also got some different settings that help control this. So let's take a look at our theme editor. Okay, so in our theme editor, you can go to the uh, default blog, right? And uh, you can come to this page here. And then we've added this new settings area. So blog custom badge. And so we can just toggle it on and off, right? So by default, once you add this customization and it's gonna be off, you need to check this to turn it on and they'll start to show up. We've got a couple of things here. So the first one is uh, whether or not the article tag is gonna be a link or not. And so right now, if we come to our article, it's not a link, it's just a list here. Um, but if we wanna make it a link, you can turn this to badge with link, save. And if we refresh, we can actually click on this and it will show all of the articles that have that same environment tag. So you can see here, test blog three and four are no longer showing because it's only the ones tagged with environment. And you can actually see the URL here, right? It's tagged with environment. Um, and if we kind of go back in, you can choose another one. So sustainability, for example, it's only got the one there. So that's how you can actually uh, use that link to help navigate back and forth. Um, it's just a neat little feature that I think is gonna be really handy once you add the sidebar that's gonna happen in the next video. Okay, so the next setting is the color scheme. So right now it's this gray. We can say change it to a blue, for example, um, or whatever, whatever scheme you want. That's how it'll show up. And then we've also got this uh, hover effect. So let's say you want it to show a little bit differently once we've hovered over it. So let's just save and refresh. So now if we kind of go into our article page, and so when we hover over the badge, you can see here that it turns bold, right? And that lets us know that we're hovered over it and we can click the link to take us to all of the uh, articles that represent that badge. And so those are the settings. That's, that's our customization. If you like what you see, then stick around because now we're gonna add it to your theme. Okay, so we've just installed a fresh new version of Dawn. So right now we're on Dawn version 14.0.0. .0 um, and if we go back to our site, you can see here, refresh, uh, those badges are no longer showing. So this is what the, uh, the default blog is going to look like. We can go into an article. This is by default what it's going to look like. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to edit some of the theme code to add that badge functionality in there so that it reads all the different tags. Before you start, just make sure to duplicate your theme. So in case anything goes wrong with this customization, you can always go back to your backed up version uh, without having to figure out what went wrong. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to edit code. 
And once we're in here, we're going to uh, look for the settings schema.json file. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for blog. And there's a section here for blogs. And we'll just come right above that. And then we're going to copy and paste our custom uh, tag badge settings. And so let's just save. And so what we've done here is we've added some new settings into our theme editor. So we can actually take a look. We'll open up the theme editor and then go to the theme settings. And you can see here blog custom badge. So that's the settings that we've just added. And here are the settings that we were looking at earlier in the demo that we can that we now added to our theme. Now, because we haven't added any additional code yet, these settings don't actually do anything. So let's add the functionality behind those settings. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, edit the main blog like dot liquid section file. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by adding a style sheet. So at the very top, we're going to add a CSS file. So we'll just copy and paste that in. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit and we're going to see here render article card. So this is um, the code that controls how the um, these different cards will show up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add one additional parameter, which is the show tag badge. So we'll just add a comma right here afterwards and paste that in show tag badge. OK, so we can just save this file. And then next, we're going to go into this article card here. So we'll look for article card. And in article card, we're going to look for the words badge. So it says if show badge, it will do this. So that's the default way it will show badge, um, which you'll typically see on the search bar. So if we come to the search bar and we search for a uh, test blog post, for example, it will show this badge here, blog in the bottom left corner here, um, or in the position that you've selected. And by default, it's the bottom left corner. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an additional feature here. So we'll come right underneath there and we'll copy and paste our uh, show tag badge section here. And so what that's gonna do is gonna show all the different tags in that article. Okay, so now we can save. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go to the main article dot liquid file. And we're also going to add uh, some CSS at the top. And then we're also going to add the badges in into the, uh, the title area. So if we come into our blog post, we're going to place it right in this title area right here. So if we come back to our code, um, you can see here title, when title, and we'll just come right before the end of this header and we'll copy and paste our code. Okay, and we can save. And finally, we're gonna add that CSS style sheet that we were referencing earlier. So we're gonna call, create a new file. We'll call this component uh, blog badges custom and we'll paste our CSS in there. And so this is the CSS that we were referencing here. I just noticed that we're missing a uh, curly bracket right there. So it should be a double curly bracket. So I'm just fixing that up. Um, and let's see. And then on the main blog, also right here, we're referencing that CSS there. OK, so that's all the code changes. We can jump back into our theme editor. And if we go to our blogs area and uh, go back to our settings and show tag badge on cards, then they show up right there, just like before. Um, and then we can also get them to show on the articles. So we can hop into an article and we can uh, show with link or no link. So let's say with link. And there we go. That's pretty much it. Now, there's one last feature that we 
didn't talk about earlier. And so that's uh, tag exclusion. So um, if you have some additional tags in there just for internal purposes only, or you want to use them for other reasons, uh, but you don't want them to show up on the website itself, let's say, for example, this says featured here, and, and I want to use featured for some internal reason. You can just use that as an exclusion. So featured, and then it will take it out so that we don't see it on our, either on the article page or on the, uh, you won't see it on the, uh, the, the blogs page either, right? So they'll no longer show up on these blog posts. Um, if there's another one, you just add a comma, and type your next um, tag that you want to remove, and it won't show up there. So you can build out your exclusion list however you like. Um, but that just gives you that extra little bit of control so that uh, not every tag is going to show up if you don't want them to. OK, so there we go. We've now added tags as badges on our blog pages, giving our blog pages just some additional features. Like I mentioned, in the next video, we're going to add a sidebar for some simple navigation through your articles and even within the article itself. If you like this customization, it would mean a lot to me if you could like and subscribe. We've got lots more customizations, so check out our YouTube channel or our brand new website, theprompted.co. That's it for now. See you in the next one.